but as democracies, um, the United States, Israel, other democracies, have a responsibility to do everything possible to protect civilians who may be caught in, in harm's way. And this, again, is a, is, is a crossfire, quite literally, of Hamas's making. The fact that it cynically and monstrously, deliberately, has people, uh, men, women, and children, as human shields, um, puts, uh, puts its uh, command posts, puts its leadership, puts its fighters, puts its weapons, puts its munitions underneath hospitals or even inside them, schools, mosques, makes this incredibly challenging. But we have to rise to that responsibility. And so we will be talking about concrete steps uh, that can and should be taken to minimize harm to men, women, and children uh, in, uh, in Gaza. Uh, and this is something that the United States is committed to. I'm not going to get into the, the details here, but it's very much uh, on the agenda. As uh, we've said from the start, Israel has not only the right, but the obligation to defend itself and also to take steps to try to make sure that this never happens again. We've also said very clearly and repeatedly that how Israel does this matters. Uh, we will focus as well on steps that need to be taken uh, to protect civilians who are in a crossfire of, of Hamas's making. Uh, and we want to look at concrete steps that can be taken to better protect them. Uh, we've seen in recent days Palestinian civilians continue to bear the brunt of this, uh, this action. Uh, and it's important that the United States is committed to making sure everything possible is done to protect civilians. Um, at the same time, we're determined that this conflict not spread, and we'll be talking to both uh, the Israeli government and partners in the region uh, about what all of us are doing to prevent that from happening. The second big objective, of course, is to continue our efforts to get humanitarian assistance in uh, and to get our citizens and nationals out uh, of Gaza. In terms of humanitarian assistance going in, uh, we've been able to establish over the last couple of weeks um, efforts to get trucks moving. We've had about 50 to 60 trucks a day of assistance going in. We need that and want that to increase, and I expect you'll see that uh, in the coming days. These are challenging times. Um, these are intensely difficult issues. But I am convinced that American diplomacy can make a difference in moving everyone to a better place. That's what we'll be working to do. So we are determined to prevent escalation on, on any of these fronts, whether it's um, Lebanon, northern Israel, southern Lebanon, uh, whether it's the West Bank, whether it's anywhere else in the region. We do have to have conversations now about how we can best set the conditions for a durable, sustainable peace, durable, sustainable security for Israelis and Palestinians alike. Uh, so I expect that uh, those are conversations that we'll have an opportunity to pursue uh, over the next couple of days, but uh, this is a, a long-term effort, but we have to make sure that we're focused on it now.